Hi, I'm going to explain how to write jazz drum parts in MuseScore. So, I got these hits, and I want the drummer to acknowledge them. So here's what I'm going to do. Click on this measure, hold shift, click next measure, that's how you select multiple measures, then copy. I'm going to paste that down in the drum part. Okay, moved it there. Next, go to tools. Voices. Exchange voice one to three. Go back to tools. Go down to toggle rhythmic slash notation. Now go back up to tools again. Oh, yep. And I'm actually going to select a couple more measures here that I want slashes in. So just shift click and move further. Go to tools. Fill with slashes. Look at that. That is exactly what I want. I want the drummer to see that. Now I also want them playing time on brushes. So I'm just going to click on that note. Control T to make a text box. In this text box, I'll say brushes time. There we go. They know exactly what to do with that. Now, okay, earlier I want kind of like just a hit right on beat one before some of this staggered entrances and stuff. So here's what I'm gonna do. So my note input, I'm just gonna put like a snare hit. I don't really want to tell them to exactly do a snare hit though. I want to leave that up to them. So then I go to tools, toggle rhythmic slash notation. You know, do a hit. Now I'm gonna throw an accent on that. So I just select the note. Go up to this accent, hit the accent. They know, just hit a drum <laughs> and then rest and then come in, acknowledge these hits and play time on brushes. Pretty much everything you need to know. Um, one more thing I will say is if you want hits underneath the staff, not that I actually want that here, but for the sake of example, I'll show you. You just take that, same thing, copy and paste it. Now what you do differently is when you go to voices, exchange voice one to four, and then do the same process. So I go rhythmic slash notation, fill with slashes. That's how you get kicks underneath the staff, which sometimes you want that. If it's low stuff, sometimes it just makes sense. Talk to a drummer on that one if you really wanna know when to do that and when not to. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.